we're faced with the issue of dwindling uh, gas reserves. So our current focus is to sustain our refinery, the GTL refinery at Mossel Bay, but also utilize that uh, plant uh, for, as a platform for growth. We intend to grow Petro SA into a significant player in RSA in South Africa and in the region. And that is our mandate, which we need to um, abide by. And we have to contribute meaningfully to the security of supply in the country. We're very excited, I must say, with the findings in East Africa because we feel that we're going to be able to utilize um, the, 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 the gas uh, of those uh, in those fields. We look at um, uh, LNG imports as a key building block of Southern Cape resource portfolio. Petro SA is also busy looking at the potential to build a refinery in uh, Kuha and the proposed refinery, we only still, we just completed the pre-feasibility, but the proposed refinery could also be an off-taker of liquefied natural gas. Currently what we're doing is we're evaluating this whole project of uh, LNG in the Southern Cape and we are engaging with ESCOM, with Transnet, with all the other parastatals that are uh, are tasked with the development of infrastructure in these different areas. In terms of the regional benefits, we see that uh, this would be of huge uh, benefit in the region. We'd like to use this, the existing gas markets as a springboard for gas um, regional market growth. Because of the fact that you need to aggregate a lot of uh, financiers and investors, we see this as a way that we are going to be able to attract and increase foreign direct investment into the area. Um, clearly, it's going to contribute to the development of regional energy industries and technology advances. There was something mentioned earlier about the type of skills that you actually require when you are embarking on these type of projects. We see this project as one of the projects that's going to galvanize the type of interest into um, the development of those skills.